Hey Dwellers, it's Frank. Uh, today's Tuesday, so we're gonna talk about uh, a story in my life. And today in specific, we're gonna talk about what it's like to become a dad. Uh, so, to give a little bit of context, um, I've become a dad in 2013. And prior to that time, I thought that when you would become a dad, especially when uh, your first kid is born, it would be all rainbows and um, stars and little flying pink elephants, you know, just a, a party parade all the time. And um, to be fair, the period I had right before the pregnancy and mostly during the pregnancy is some of the best time I've had with, um, with uh, my partner at the time. Uh, everything was, uh, was peaches. We were happy, or at least I was happy to hear about the pregnancy. Um, uh, everything went okay, more or less during the pregnancy, well, at least on, on the guy's side, right? All the, you don't have all the physical transformations. And, um, so what I did was help out where I could more or less. <laughs> so I, what I did was help out where I could and um, I tried to be understanding of her changes. Um, one thing I did notice is that when your partner is pregnant, it is hard to have the same type of attachment to the, um, to the baby to be, uh, to your kid to be. Um, because it's, it's not inside you, right? So my partner would have all these feelings and emotions. And to be honest, I felt a bit left on the wayside when it came to that. Because, um, yeah, to me it was like uh, a Tuesday like any other Tuesday. It didn't matter how big my partner's um, uh, belly would be. Um... So to counteract that, we did some some um, couple baby therapy type stuff where we would talk to the baby. And what we did is that after uh, a certain amount of months, the you, you can interact a bit with the baby. Well, what we did was, uh, well, we would press on my partner's stomach. And then the baby would nest its head in your hand if you left it there, which was really, really cute and really nice. Uh, but it does, <laughs> it, it in no way compensates for having the feeling of something growing inside you because the dichotomy of what she felt versus what I felt was still really present. And so I talked a bit to my partner's stomach and uh yeah maybe the baby recognized me and that you know in the stomach i mean my, the, the 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 my voice and that, that felt good that felt good but um in no way did i have the connection that my partner had and then Around D-Day, um, we uh, we were hoping to have the baby be born at our home, um, but after a while, it it looked like that would not be a possibility. So we went to the hospital. Um, we were offered the possibility of uh, getting her an epidural, and we thought that ah she got that she got it she got it and <laughs> that may have been a, a mistake that may have been a mistake because we got um alternates like sed sedatives uh for her to be able to deal with the pain but the thing is that it <laughs> the baby do doesn't just uh come out immediately right it's not like uh, oh the water breaks and the baby's there five minutes after no your water breaks and then you're in labor for a while and you may have felt labor like 
stuff even before the water breaks. So my partner has been in labor for, for a while. She's obviously suffering. And um, yeah, <laughs> as a father, again, you don't feel anything. The only thing you feel or the only thing I felt was worry for my partner that, uh, you know, it's annoying to feel someone you love be in pain. So anyway, we approach the moment where uh, my kid would be born. Um, and that's where my fantasies about uh, rainbows and unicorns and stuff were uh, confronted with reality. And reality is completely different from that uh, you know I, I had been told that becoming a father is a fantastic thing and you feel you feel great so that's sort of the expectation maybe that I was going into but um, that's not what happened for me um, because uh, when you uh, give birth um, your body is really stretched to its limits and you can really see someone's body become sort of like a machine and everything that's uh, nice and pink uh, becomes purple and blue even um, there's a lot of um, blood loss and uh, and other fluids um, so that was very impressive very impressive to see I was um, super impressed with uh, with my partner that she was withstanding all this and just trucking through Whew. yeah I still um, I'm still impressed by that to this day um, and I was very happy that while all of this was uh, going on, uh, the nurses gave me little tasks to do, such as, uh, you know, uh, uh, dab my partner's forehead with a fresh uh, damp cloth. Um, I helped her holding her legs up um, uh, because obviously you can't have stirrups or I don't I don't I don't remember how that was exactly but I was helping her keep her legs up I was talking to her to help her calm down which helped sort of <laughs> anyway yeah so I was trying to uh, focus on those tasks and that that really helped that really helped and um, when my kid was born, she was given to uh, to my partner. I was I was actually pretty eager to uh, to meet this special stranger as well, right? Because although I have I had made a connection with the ba baby, at least somewhat, it wasn't really strong. It was still a foreign body to me. And um, yeah, so uh, we have a couple of moments to enjoy the baby together. And then all of a sudden my partner goes pale and says, oh, something's wrong. Take the baby. So I take the baby. I call a nurse. Um, my partner is, uh, well, uh, th they look at what's what's up and then she's, carried away she needs to go to uh, to have surgery and um, so here I am with this little baby um, I had some experience with kids prior to this so it wasn't completely awkward but um, yeah so I said uh, hi how are you congratulations on being born <laughs> 
and she made some noises and i was asking what she was talking about if that was a new uh a new band and then she said blah 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 and i said i don't know that band so anyway we got to talking and um over the next few days weeks my connection to my kid grew exponentially so things things are <laughs> I, I love my kid very much right now, but it, it, it just took time to grow and it was not something immediate uh, at birth, which I might have expected from the stories that um, are generally told or that I generally heard at least. Um, so yeah, reality hit me like a brick right there and then it didn't stop. Because whereas the first few months prior uh, to the birth, or let's say the first year prior to the birth, were the best time I had with my partner, the, let's say, subsequent six months were the worst time of my life. <laughs> were the worst time of my life. And this has to do with uh, me, maybe. Um, because, uh, well, out here, when a baby is born, you, as a father, you have two days, one day to help out or witness the birth and another day to register your kid at city hall. Uh, but I actually wanted to be home. Um, to help my partner to get to know the baby better to you know be a dad and that's um, a real tip i can give anybody who's um, planning on uh, being a dad going to become a dad or a parent take some time off to enjoy your kid take some time off but um anyway i was working a shitty job um, another bunch of realities started hit me at that time, meaning responsibilities, because all the fun things you've done prior to that, uh, such as you know, going out, hanging out with friends, um, well, you have somebody who depends on you now, and they can't go out, and your fr <laughs> your friends are probably going to see him once be like huh and then not be that interested in your kid anymore right um at least only superficially uh, and you have to carry your kid along unless you have a good uh network of people that can help you with your kid which is also very important um Yeah, make sure you're in a good, um, make sure that you're surrounded well um, by family and friends, but also by, um, that your situation is good with uh, work and stuff. Because the six first months were, helped me. I had to adjust, I, I had to adjust my schedule, which, I hadn't realized um, we were woken up. Our, our sleep schedule was shot. Um, and yeah, it, it just, it, it, those were six very painful months um, because I maybe would have needed to be there more for my partner but i wasn't myself in a good place so uh, yeah it was very hard to be there for each other uh, i was unprepared and um, maybe it's normal to be unprepared in the sense that having a kid is uh, is a risk you never know what you're gonna get but um it all works out in the end it all works out in the end. I'm very happy with um, 
I'm very happy about being a father. And um, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. But uh, yeah, it's just not all sunshine and rainbows when it's actually going on. <laughs> anyway, if you... Um, that That's it for this story. If uh, you liked it, hype it up. If you want to know about um, some things, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. And... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy some more of my videos, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.